We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Many students have heard about the nicotine test that might be starting next semester. Here are some opinions on them. One of the things that has been discussed is including nicotine in the random drug testing as one of the panels of drugs tested for. Uh, that technology currently does exist. The idea there is if students know that they could be randomly tested and nic nicotine shows up and the parents were notified, that maybe it would influence them to not vape, just as the same with other drugs. I think the nicotine tests are good because it can help the teachers take precautionary measures to prevent smoking. Well, my personal opinion, I don't think since if we're 18, I feel like we shouldn't be in trouble if we are caught with a nicotine in our system, but I understand having it on gr school grounds. If students are caught vaping in the school, they will get a day of OSS and ISS. They also get a ticket from the Sheriff's Department, which is $133. If you're 18, I do not think you should be involved in these tests because in some parts of Kansas, it is legal. Since you're still 18, you're technically underage to have nicotine and you have to be 21 to buy it. I think that if you're caught with your vape at school, that should be enough to get you in trouble here. But if you're 18 and you test for nicotine positive here, it shouldn't do anything against you as long as you turned 18 before whenever they change the law here. The goal of these tests are to get students to stop vaping and to live a long, healthy life. FCA stands for Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Um, it's just the Christian club we have here at school, but you don't have to be an athlete to be in it. I'm definitely not an athlete. So um, yeah, everybody's welcome. I started this locker just to help students come together and um, have a place where they feel like they can share their prayer requests or their, their needs that they need prayer for and just be able to do it comfortably and not have to talk to somebody if they're afraid of that. Everybody is welcome to come add their prayer request to it. It's a group of people that get together every Friday and we basically just talk about how Christ is working in us through school and in our lives and how we can affect more people in the school and in our life. Anybody that would like to um, share their faith together or even discover their faith, um, non-athletes, athletes, Non-Christians are even welcome too, so everybody that would like to come are welcome. Um, you could message me on Schoology or come to one of our meetings in the morning in the choir room at 7.20. Um, so every Friday before our meetings, I take the prayer requests out and then I take them to meetings and I share them with our club and we just pray for them anonymously. Hey Vice, I'm here with Shane and he's in leadership class and he's going to tell us about Color Chaos. So what is it? Color Chaos is a school spirit event before the football game on Friday where kids are going to get together and throw color at each other to, uh, to show school spirit for the game. And who is putting this event on? Uh, the leadership class is planning everything, they're ordering everything, and uh, they'll be administering the event. And what should you wear to this event? Uh, anything white that is that you're not too worried about getting dirty and all colorful and stuff. Just something that uh, is easy to get colored. All right, thank you. Homecoming week is always a memorable experience. One thing students really enjoy is the bonfire put on by Stuco. Right now we are at the homecoming bonfire that student council puts on every year and really this event is just to get everyone excited for homecoming, for the week, for the game. Yeah, we're just trying to get everyone to have a good time. Um, the band came out so it was fun. Students don't just come out to enjoy the fire but also to enjoy food. We had the booster club, they came out, they provided some treats, this year they brought cinnamon rolls. And hang out with friends. Yeah, I am. It's a great time to be out here with the guys. You know, I just love hanging out out here. The fire's great. People's having fun. It's a great seeming Viking day to be out here. I feel like the bonfire is fun so far. Meeting new people and having fun, drinking lots of cider. Fun times. 
Looks like students had a fun time at the bonfire.